Good morning. Hey, welcome to Daily Devotions. It is, I'm Pastor Joanna Gregg, and this is Not Horrible Lutheran Church, and Pastor Hill and I have been opening and um, dwelling in the Word with you throughout these times of uh, social or physical distancing. Thanks again for joining us. It's Monday, August 3rd. Today we are going to look at Romans chapter 1. And Romans, as we know, is written by Paul. Um, there's always a lot to dive into with Paul's letters and Paul's theology. And um, today we're just going to hear a bit from the the Thanksgiving section at the very beginning in verse, I mean, chapter 1, verses 8 through 15. So as you hear the words, um, please open your ears and your heart to what speaks to you today, what jumps at you t out at you today, and what might God be saying to us as a people of God. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ for all of you because your faith is proclaimed throughout the world. For God, whom I serve with my spirit by announcing the gospel of his Son, is my witness that without ceasing I remember you always in my prayers, asking that by God's will I may somehow at last succeed in coming to you. For I am longing to see you, so that I may share with you some spiritual gift to strengthen you. or rather so that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith both yours and mine i want you to know brothers and sisters that i have been often intended to come to you but thus far have been for prevented in order that i may reap some harvest among you as i have among the rest of the gentiles i am a debtor both to greeks and to barbarians both to the wise and to the foolish Hence my eagerness to proclaim the gospel to you who are in Rome. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So, like I said, there's always plenty, no matter what part you pick, to talk about in Paul's writings. And today, verse 12, where... Um, he talks about mutual encouragement through each other's faith. He, um, I, hear, I hear such a good teacher um, voice. He's, he's encouraging them so that they can um, feel welcomed and um, so that he can be hospitable to them, even though he's the one who is writing from the outside. Um, but there are Christians in Rome, and that is who he is writing to. But he is also writing to um, the everybody, the inclusiveness of the gospel, if you will. Um, so verse 12, about the mutual encouragement, that jumped out, out to me because it kind of goes with the... Um, what we were talking about earlier, like last week, about the psalm where it says all and how inclusive that is over and over again in God's kingdom. And Paul is, is doing the same thing. Um, so, like, it makes me think of how at different times in our lives we are either mentored or we are mentors ourselves for for other people and their faith journey um, through Sunday school and confirmation and summer camp. And I can think of so many examples where, um, where somebody had a question or, or, uh, or needed some building up and Little did we know that we were the ones to offer it or vice versa. So we never know, uh, kind of like the mustard seed too, what we are planting and what is being planted in us. But uh, we, through the Holy Spirit, are 
encouraged by faith that is given to us through God. And that's one of the things that Paul um, writes about in Romans, like uh, that God's, God's justification, God's faith, God's righteousness is um, first and, and is given to us. So, like I said, it's hard to, it's hard to encompass, it's hard to uh, summarize Paul's thought. He is a theological genius, but here we are, 2,000 years later, thanks be to God that we are able to read these words. So, um, I just ask you what jumped out at you today, and what might God be saying to us as a community through these words from Paul? Oh, and one more thing. I thought I thought that the Greeks, the mention of the Greeks and barbarians, was interesting and uh, caught my attention a little bit. But honestly, it used to be a word that meant just uh, not religious or not Jewish, probably in this in this context. Uh, I guess I don't know. But that was just that's just something that jumped out at me the last time the last couple of verses there. Anyway, all right, um, let's close with prayer and um, I hope all of you heard a good word today. Will you pray with me? Dear Father, thank you for your gift of faith and your gift of community that we can be mutual, be encouraged and mutually encourage one another in that gift of faith. Thank you for each person who is listening and watching and all of those who are not. We are a community even when we cannot see and hear one another. And we are connected through our relationship with you. Thank you for all of these things and be with those who are sick and suffering today. And um, give them encouragement in the same faith that we all share. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. I'll see you on Wednesday.